Hey everyone, today I'm going to be painting, I've decided, the little torch handle, the belt, not the loincloth yet, and then the cowl. And for all of this, I'm going to be using Driftwood Brown, which is going to be close to the cloak color, I think, but I have some plans. And... I will probably not bore you with all of my plans, but I am going to try some mineral coloring, and I'll do some gemstones on this. And it looks like the paint straight out of the bottle is going to be really thin, and I'm going to paint everything, and there's a reason behind that. So it's pretty close to the same color, but I think I have a way of differentiating it. But I'm going to go ahead and put all these layers on, and uh, maybe I need to do something else. But anyway, I'll be back in a few. Okay, we got that all painted, and I've got his cowl painted, and it's very close to the, the two brown colors, or this brown color. On his cape, but I do plan to do something else to it, so I'm good with it for now. And what I'm going to focus on today, like recording this video later than that first part of the video, is the little end piece on that. I've decided, let me just grab a brush so I can point easier. Uh, I'm going to paint that little edge there. Then I'm going to paint all the little pieces in his belt, his little things there. I'm going to do something different with his little shoulder pads. And I didn't think about it, but I will. I'll paint the uh, things on his wrist. And for that, I'm going to start out with grass green. And the intention really is to not make it look like grass, of course, but I'm going to be going for a jade color. And I did look up, just to do an aside right quick, I did think about painting this whole piece as one big item of jade, but I decided that would be a little overkill. So I'm just going to paint kind of like as if these were stones that were affixed to a wooden object. Although I think I am going to paint, I think I already mentioned that, the piece down here. Uh, just give a sample of what we're going to do here. I'm going to do here. And what I think I will do is I'll come back and I'll stipple a lot of this individually to kind of give it a con nice contrast. Is that the word I'm looking for? Kind of, I guess. I would use differentiate as well. But one thing I'll do is on. Um, you know, so I got this painted with wood stuff. What I'm planning to do is go around the edges here with a gold color. Because it's kind of more like jewelry. You know, in contrast to his belt here. I might make that a, a gold too. I'm not going to paint that on camera because I need to get really close in and paint those. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to go ahead and finish this first color, and then I will show the results of that, because it's probably going to take a couple coats, I can tell already. Okay, I forgot to mention, uh, wash the brush off first, I was practicing. Uh, I forgot to mention that I was going to paint the loincloth the same color as the jade pieces. 
However, I'm going to shade that a little differently so it'll look different, but it'll still be in the same base color. Anyway, going with some jade green, which, gee, might do really well for a jade color. <laughs> and let me just quickly show what I'm trying to do. I've got an old, old brush here. It's got really bad bristles and a little dabbing paper just to show. Normally, I have... Where did I put it? I just had it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Normally, I've got just one of these little kitty brushes. That's not a good example. You know, just little cheap ones, big brushes. What I did was I actually cut all the the bristles off down really short, and I use that for a lot of dry brushing, or I did. I don't dry brush that much anymore. But that's almost the technique I was going to use for this, but the paint's really, really too thick. No. The paintbrush is too big, is what I'm trying to say. So what I'm doing is just loading up a little bit of paint on here, and you know, just like a dry brush, I'm getting rid of almost all of it. I'll slide my tile over, and then I'm just going to kind of stipple it like that. And it's going to give a subtle effect, I think. So we'll see how that works. I just have to remember to wipe the brush off of most of the paint before I do this. Just, and you know what? I may have to not do as much as I thought I was going to have to do. I mean, wipe off the paint. Because I do want a very stark effect there. I may have to... Okay, I don't think this is working. <laughs> Let's try a little something different. Still have the same color. I may have to... I want to just kind of add a bit of color. I may have to change. God, I'm trying to talk at the same time I'm doing this. I'm thinking I may put a bit of white or yellow in there to brighten it up. Because I want it to be very, very... I guess I don't really want to, but... A little contrast. You know, that's not actually that bad. Move my palette. Of course, I've got my paint really thick, so it's not flowing well, but then again, it did come out of the bottle really thick, too, or not thick, thin. Just can't see that. That was a little bit more paint than I had planned. Yeah, there are tutorials out there, and it makes a lot more translucent, transparent, gem-like quality to it. And that's not really what I'm going for here. I'm trying to get a, a modeled appearance almost. I think this is working fairly well. I'm not trying to paint everything. I'm just trying to get like highlights. Actually on the, the cuffs, I might paint one or two a light color. I think I started with mid-tone on the Reaper Triad here. That was really thin. Phone go off. And it's got like little stripes twice. 
little striped segments in the cuffs like it was individual pieces and so I might do a light one next to a dark one next to a plain one and then maybe come back and black line it really good yeah, I could almost just sit here and do a highlight type thing that, one, that might work I just have to go over each of these and I missed that one entirely but oh well because I want it to look like a mineral I don't want it to look like a highlight So a more mottled appearance would be great. Yeah, I'm fairly happy with that. But yeah, I definitely think I'll go with a, another... I'm going to leave those dark. Another darker shade. And I might go... That might show up a lot better mottled. I just kind of, I did do these little dots here, but with the intention that that's a, I was going to go with a metal belt, but then I painted it brown, so it is a stiff leather belt now. With uh, emeralds in it. I'm thinking down here on this loincloth. I may put a little red stripe across there just for grins. I think that would be very contrasting. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to decide if I want to cut the video or do I keep going? Well, I guess I'm just going anyway, aren't I? I might make well, one. Might make one of those little bars in there a different color. But I think those jade pieces are okay. You know, could make it look like it was carved out of a single piece, but that gets away from the embedded in the wood effect I was trying for. paint silently. So, I'm going to let that dry and then I will do the darker triad color on this one. And we'll see how that turns out. So now I've got the uh, the darkest of the triad, the forest green. And I'm going to try stippling again. I did a little practice bit. I thought it looked really nice. So let's just have to see. Hmm. Yeah, I think it adds a little bit of to it. Not very much. I'm not going to stipple those. Mm, debating. I think I will. Well, leave that in the pot there. I think what I do will do is I will also, besides just the the stippling, just give it a little touch. Okay. Hmm. 
and see how that works. But meanwhile, I'll go ahead and get some of the other places. I really use thicker paint on the bracelets than what I was using. Well, that's really thick. Let's not do that. And I just washed my brush off in my clean water. Not my brush water. Oops. Oh well. It wasn't as much. So I think I will do fairly thin paint. Let's see if I can get this one done. Yeah, that'll be a little bit more translucent than what I did over there. And I can never get these on camera. Or did I just put two next to each other? I did put two next to each other, but well, we'll just leave that. Yeah, you know what? I think I really messed that up. <laughs> I should have just tried to paint them like gemstones or something. Yeah, that looks really bad. Because now it looks like I'm trying to highlight when I'm not. Hmm. Trying to think of how to fix this other than erase and start over. Now I've just made a kind of swatchy path across everything. <laughs> Maybe I should just stop. <laughs> okay, what I think I will do, I'll go ahead and paint in these darks a bit more. Then what I will do is I'm going to go back over with the light green that I've got. It's still on the palette. And I'm just going to brush. Let's get it a little thinner than that. So I'm trying to well, I'm trying to cover up that stippling but also leave a little bit of the dark underneath except for that one that one can go away <laughs> well that's not a bad effect right there so okay. put a little bit more light color there. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll put a little bit light back on this one. Probably all over the screen. I apologize. But yeah, I think I'm going to call that good. Almost washed the brush off in the wrong water again. Um, actually, you know what? I may go ahead and while we're here, I'll go ahead and try to shadow this bit. I really don't like how I did that. Shoot. 
So let's just wash that off. Yeah, I almost was be better off with a wash. I don't know, that's not bad. It's not what I was intending. But I can kind of wipe some of the paint off. I basically just coated it with the dark stuff now. So let's see if I can further mess that up by trying to add a little bit of light back to it while it's still wet. And it doesn't help when I touch him with it. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, I think I'll let that dry and then I'll touch it off camera with the bit of actually you know what that dark green does set it off a lot more from the jade so I think I will do that I think I'll let it dry and then I'll hit it with a highlight but I think that's way enough for one video and I will do that off camera and you'll just have to trust me <laughs> see you next time